I'm going to show you how to drop ship on Amazon with Shopify and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is George. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time and you want to learn how to build a successful Shopify dropshipping business, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. In this video, I'm going to show you how to dropship on Amazon using Shopify. I'm going to break it down how to get tons of sales every single day. And the most important thing is that I'm going to show you a live example of my store that is currently selling on Amazon. And I'm also going to show you step by step on how to set up your Shopify dropshipping business to Amazon. So everything is synchronized. You don't have to worry about anything. You just get tons of sales, you fulfill them, and you're left with profit. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you watch until the end of the video. Let's go ahead and jump inside of my computer and I'm going to show you everything step by step, how to set up Amazon with your Shopify dropshipping business. All right, so the first thing that you will need to do is you will need to sign up with Amazon Seller Central. Now, it is very straightforward. You just click the sign up button here. I'm not going to show it in this video because I already have an account, but just follow the steps. It's really straightforward. It's gonna ask you for your passport information for a scan and all of that. So just be ready to provide all of that information. But the important thing here are the plans. So once you sign up, it will give you an option to choose from these two plans. There's an individual plan and a professional plan. Now, in the beginning, I recommend you start with an individual plan because there is no recurring fee. But once you start selling more than 40 items per month, then you can move to the $40 per month plan because it's going to be cheaper than the individual one. Once you get your account approved with Amazon Seller Central, the second step is to buy Amazon UPC barcodes. Now, Amazon UPC barcodes are basically these barcodes right here. They have different numbers, you know, on every product and you need them for every variant of the product. So say for example, you have one product and it has three different variants. Let's say that it's the black color, it's white color and it's gray. If you want to list all of those colors on Amazon, you will need three different UPC barcodes, okay? The website looks sketchy, but I've bought from these guys twice and both of the times they delivered, so I can say that I trust them and I recommend you buy from them. Their barcodes are very cheap. You can see here, the last time I bought 5,000 UPC barcodes for $40. And just to give you some proof real quick, here is their email, so purchase 5,000 barcodes. And what they also do is they went ahead and added 500 extra barcodes as an additional bonus. So that's nice. You know, you can see all of the barcodes here and everything. So it works. I've imported all the products on Amazon. There is no problem with this. Now, the third step that you will need to do is you will actually need to add the Amazon sales channel in your Shopify backend. So here you can see Amazon and you will find it if you clicked on this plus icon. Since I already have it here, it's not gonna show anything there. So you click the plus, you add Amazon and here you will see your uh, like sign up or you know connect your Amazon account. So you click sign up or you click connect and uh, it will connect everything automatically. So once you connect your account, you will need to set up some seller central settings, such as your shipping rates, right? Your taxes, payments, notifications, category approval, all of that. It's very, very straightforward. What I'm gonna say is that for your shipping rates, you will need to say that your lead time or processing of your orders can take up to five days. So what this basically means is that once you get a sale, right? Amazon is gonna give you five days for you to uh, apply a tracking code to your order. Now, once you connect your Amazon Seller Central account to Shopify, the next step is to create listings. The way it's done here is that you can choose each individual product, you click add, and then it's gonna take some time to process, and then you're gonna you know, create, so create listing, it's a baseball cap, men accessories, baseball hats, then you select your brand, citycaps.co, then you can write the title on Amazon, the bullet points, the description, you know, keywords, and then here you can add variants. So for example, say we wanna add color variants, and then I can add you know, black, pink, and light blue. In here, you choose you know, one size, because you know, baseball caps or dad hats has one size, which price you wanna list it at. Here you can see production time. So that's what I was talking about, the lead time. So here I usually put five. 
use inventory Shopify settings, you know, then here European article number, that's where you're gonna put your UPC barcode that you received an email and then you add images and you do that for every single product. Now, if you're selling only a few products, now this is a great way, you know, it doesn't require any applications or anything like that. You just do it all manually. It doesn't take that long. But if you have hundreds of products like I do in my store, then here is a very good solution for you. There is an application called Codisto L-I-N-Q. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it doesn't matter. Now, they have a two week trial. As you can see here, I've been using them for six days. And this application is an amazing way to bulk upload your products to Amazon. I'm gonna show you my back end of my Amazon Seller Central, show you how many listings I have now live. Uh, let's take a look at this application right here. So as you can see here, this blue right here indicates that the product is live on Amazon. If we scroll down here, a little bit Alexis dad hat. So if we click here, it's gonna take us to the Amazon page. You can see here, that is my brand, right? We can choose the color we want. It says everything in stock, usually ships within four to five days. Add to cart, buy now, sold and ships from Amazon. Boom, everything in nice and tidy. All the pictures are here. And the funny thing is that I didn't do this manually. I did this all through application. All right, so now I'm gonna actually show you how to use this application because it's a little bit complicated, but I'm gonna make it very easy for you. And then I'm going to show you the uh, back end of my Amazon Seller Central and show you how many sales I got in the last seven days. So in order to import these products into Amazon, you need to fill out some information here. Now, the information you need to fill out is the the barcodes you can see here right then you need to fill out the price you need to fill out the quantity uh are you know is it fulfilled by merchant on amazon in our case since we're drop shipping is fulfilled by merchant so us dispatch time five days uh send listing details you want to click that on then you want to have the Amazon title that is automatically imported from your Shopify listings. Uh, you know, you want to choose the category for each. You want to write description, just basically all the bullet points, all of that. You just want to search terms and you just want to write all of these things here. The important thing here are the barcodes. Now there are two ways to assign barcodes to the products. The first one is you click on the product title. You click on product identifiers and then you click edit variation identifiers. And here you can assign the different barcodes right here for each variant. And once you assign the barcodes, you then click save and publish to Amazon. So that's the first thing. Now, the second way to import products into Amazon, if you have a lot of them and you don't want to do it manually, there's a very easy way to do it. And I'm going to show you right now. So you click attribute mapping and you make sure that the universal product code is variation mapping to barcode, okay? What you then wanna do is you wanna go to your products and you wanna export all of your products and you wanna do a plain CSV file. Once your products are exported, you click on them. They're going to be downloaded to your laptop. You then open up a Google spreadsheet. This is very important. Make sure you're paying attention. And you click imports and you upload the file that you have just exported, okay, with all of the products. You click replace spreadsheet, detect automatically, and yes. You click import data. Now, once all the information from that CSV file is uploaded into this Google Sheets, you wanna scroll to the variant barcode right here. So once you receive your barcodes, you're gonna receive them in this format, just one barcode per line. So what you wanna do is you wanna copy however barcodes you need. You then wanna go to your variant barcode column and you wanna click on the first cell and you wanna just paste it in here and you will see that every single barcode is going to paste in one line and one, and one variant. And you can do this just one time for all of your variants in your whole product catalog. Once you have all of the barcodes assigned to each variant, what you wanna do then is you wanna click file, you wanna click download, and you wanna download as a CSV current sheet, okay? You then wanna to go to your products tab, you wanna click import, and you wanna choose a file, and you wanna choose the file that you have just downloaded, which is this untitled spreadsheet products export that has all of your barcodes. You click open, 
and then you want to click on replace any current products that have the same handle and then you click upload file and voila here you can see that you'll be importing approximately 720 products once you click import what you want to do then is you want to go back to codisto and since we've already done this right here we're just going to choose all of the products like this we're going to enable them like this and then here we're going to save and send to amazon once we click that button codisto is going to send all of your products from your store to amazon all right so let me actually show you the background of my amazon seller central and how many sales i got in the last seven days so we're gonna sign in we're gonna click note now because i don't want to add a mobile number now and here you can see that we have two unshipped orders there were sales for 120 dollars and if we click manage orders you can see that I have two unshipped orders, which is this OK Boomer Dad Hat and this Drew House Justin Bieber Beanie. And if we click shipped, here we can see that I have a Baby Yoda one, you're too close, number three, and another one Baby Yoda. And just today you can see that this order came in on the March 27th on th at 3.30 a.m. from Codisto via import, right? And the additional details here is that an Amazon order. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like this video. And also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any future uploads. And as usual, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.